Hello, Bill Hayes again. Well, guys, the question I'm asked most of all about bands is, are tapers faster than straight bands, than straight cut bands? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm just gonna set up a little demonstration and then you know for yourself and uh, it's pretty well self-explanatory. What I'm gonna do is on here, I have a straight set cut of bands. They're straight cut. Okay, I left the tabs on here. So what, I'm, what I'll do is I'll take the same set of bands and then I'm gonna taper them. Okay, I'll, un I'll undo them, I'll untie them and then I'll cut them to a taper. This is a brand new set of bands and this is a medical grade latex, okay? So what I'll do first is it's gonna be pulled to the same, to the same pull ratio with a straight cut and with, uh, and with the tapers. Same everything, everything will be exactly the same. And what I'll do is I'll also uh, measure the, uh, the draw weight on it as well. All right, let's get to it. I'm going to shoot uh, six shots with each, each set. Uh, it's going to be three shots with a uh, half inch steel and three shots with a uh, three eighths inch steel. Okay, we can measure the uh, speed of the straight cuts and the tapers and compare them that way. All right, let's see here. Well, first of all, I'll start with the uh, draw weight. Okay. Turn this thing on here. Pounds. Okay, the draw weight on straight cut is 14.32 pounds. All right. here fourteen point thirty two pounds for straight cut the uh, ratio of pull on this will be approximately four to one this is a uh, ah, get that out of the way there this is a uh, about 11 inches from here to here and it's uh, about 48 uh, 45 inches to here from the forks to there so it's about a four to one ratio okay first we'll start with a uh, half inch steel let's see what that shoots out one to there Two hundred and six point six feet per second. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just zoom it in. Two hundred and six point six feet per second. Make sure you can read that in the camera there. Okay. This is with half inch steel. Four to one pull ratio. Two hundred and eight point six. Make sure everything's exactly the same as I can get it. And 217.2. That one I released a little bit quicker and uh, I pulled it all the way to the very edge right here. Well, I'll just, I'll just shoot one more shot to see uh, to make sure that they're exactly the same. Okay, half inch steel. There we go. 207.1. All right, so we're shooting at about 206 to 207 type of uh, deal there. Now, 3 8 inch steel. Two 
236.4 So the highest number on that is 238 and the other with half inch steel is about a 200 and well, I'll, I'll, I did four shots. I'll do four shots of this one too. That, that'll make it uh, evened up then. Uh, 237.9. So accounting for the slight variances in hold time and uh, ammo weight. Some of them have a little bit of rust on them and so forth and so on. We're looking at uh, about 200 and... Uh, 37-ish in that area for the average. The other is is averaging around uh, 207 feet per second with uh, half-inch steel. All right, and I'm gonna put this on pause, and I'm gonna go get uh, these. I'm gonna go cut these into a taper. Let's see if this pouch that I got on here is this pouch, and I'll show you the same pouch when I'm through. So I'm gonna cut those to a taper. They're gonna be cut from a one inch at the at the base to a three quarters inch at the at the pouch. Okay, now I'm back. The only difference in this set of bands right here and in the last set of bands, as you'll see, this is the same pouch. Same pouch. Uh, the only difference is going to be that I removed this much band material from the pouch side. Now, by tapering bands, it makes them faster for smaller ammo sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, it does take away some of the durability, so if you have a straight cut band, it'll last longer. Taper bands will uh, be able to be drawn farther at a lighter weight, and it uh, makes them appear faster. But if you have everything exactly the same, the only difference being that the uh, this amount of material right here is taken out of it, the uh, taper bands will be slower. And I'm going to show you one problem now. Okay, let me uh, zoom this in again to the... Deal there. So you see we're still at 237.9. Alright, so I'm gonna start with uh three shots of half inch. Right, it's 202.1. Uh, hair slower, so it's about uh, five feet per second slower on you know than the average. Right. 199.9, and last ball of the uh, half inch. Unless it drops substantially. If it's still in the bar park, we'll, we'll, we'll just make this the last shot. And 207.1. So I'll shoot one more shot with a half inch because that might have been a uh, little odd size or, or odd uh, size ball there a little bit. Odd weight, odd size, whatever. Two hundred point two. Okay, now I'm going to shoot with the uh, three eighths inch steel. See what kind of speed we get out of that. Two hundred thirty eight point one. See, three eighths steel is a lot lighter. Than the half inch, so the readings could actually go up a little bit. 
from the uh, straight cut. If you get too much rubber in the way, sometimes it uh, causes your uh, ammo to not be fired as efficiently as possible. Two hundred thirty-nine point four. Do two more shots. So we did four with the other time. We'll do four with this one. Two hundred thirty-six point three. And last shot. Then we'll measure the draw weight. 239. So by tapering your bands and shooting lighter ammo, you're going to have a little bit faster speeds. Same bands, exactly. You just take a little weight out of the bands and shoot lighter ammo, and you're going to have uh, faster speeds. Now, 3 8 inch steel weighs right at half the weight of half inch steel. So you can see the difference in the sizes, actually. Uh, the 3 8 inch weighs a little bit less than half of what the half inch steel does. And there's a almost 40 feet per second difference, <clears throat> almost 40 feet per second difference in the two. All right, now draw weight. <clears throat> By tapering it, you gain an advantage in draw weight. And know exactly how much here in just a second. Okay, there's actually a fairly substantial amount of draw weight taken off of there. It's 9.68 pounds, and uh, with the straight cape, straight cuts it was uh, about 14 pounds so you took off about almost five pounds of weight off of it that's quite a substantial amount so by taking off five pounds of weight off your draw weight you're able to uh, shoot faster with the light steel and a little bit slower with the heavy steel so straights are better for heavy unless you have a unless you you know change up your dimensions a little bit now, if I were to taper these bands to where to where they're uh, three quarters of an inch on this side and one and a quarter inch on this side, so it'd be the same amount of material, that'd be substantially faster with the heavy steel also. All right, I guess that's about it. Straights last longer; they're more durable. They're better for heavier steel or rocks or any you know heavier type ammo. Tapers are better for light ammo because they give you a reduced draw weight, reduced uh, everything on it, but they're not quite as durable. They won't last as long either. If that's about it, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day.